Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I think, I think, I think we're live. I think we're live. We should be live. We should be live. So let's there get it into it. So, folks, welcome back to another fine episode. Today we're going to be recording, uh, you know, live here on Facebook and uh, making a recording for the podcast. And uh, today's topic we're going to be speaking on is the power of playlists. And yes, I know Ooh. that's probably not uh, that's probably not a two hour show or an hour show, but uh, you know it's going to give you some information that you need. So, they Steve, it's been two weeks. Before we get started with the show, how have you been? I've been good, Ray. How how are you doing? I'm doing okay. Did you ever get out of Denver? No, you're there, so you got out of <laughs> yeah, Denver. Yeah, took me took me quite a while to get out of Denver, but I did escape finally. Um, how how long were you there? Was it 24 hours? Uh, it was just about yeah, just about 24. Oh, man, so. golly, just you, on, you, the whole trip was the whole trip was just over 24 hours. That I was in Denver for a little under 24 hours, so. Wow. I, I I mean, I've got some horror stories to tell about traveling in the 20-some years I was doing it, but never that long. What Pretty happened? Bad. What Pretty happened? bad. Well, I don't know. What did they say happened or what actually happened? <laughs> yeah, well, okay. <laughs> they they claimed that um, during the flight they discovered that the de-icers were not working and uh, they couldn't land in Salt Lake City because it was too icy, even though it was pretty warm there at the time and, you know. Mm whatever so anyway we landed in denver and then the stories kept changing and oh we'll be leaving in about three hours so go get some lunch okay great oh well uh the part isn't here yet uh, as soon as the part gets here we'll work on it and it'll take a little while oh well they're working on the part blah 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 and it just kept going and going like that for uh hour after hour after hour after hour after hour and they kept telling us oh yeah we're gonna be leaving in about two hours oh we're gonna be leaving in an hour oh we're gonna be leaving at this time and uh you know that just didn't happen so hmm and we got to sit there and watch the next morning as other flights leaving from there to go to Salt Lake City from the same gate got to get on their plane and go to Salt Lake City while we still sat there and watched them do it. So, And they didn't try to put any of you on available spots on those Ah, uh, well, flights? that's the beauty of it. They, they came up with an announcement. They said, well, if you want, you can rebook for one of the flights tomorrow, but every single one of them is oversold, so you're not going to get on one. <laughs> it's what they told us. So, yeah. Then they told us the night before that they were going to bring in another plane and fly us out on that. And then they canceled that plane on us and didn't do it. And then finally they did do it the next day, you know, around noon or so. They finally did that. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, so that was my fun Salt Lake trip through Denver for uh, a full day. Denver was lovely in the airport. Didn't get to see anything but the airport, but that's okay. Yeah. You know, what are you going to do, right? I've spent a lot of time in that airport, but never that long. Well, you know, it's okay. All right. Well, folks, we won't want to we don't want to hold you up here. Let's get this show on the road here. Today we're going to talk about, like I said earlier, playlists and the power thereof. I actually just did a uh, a video about that uh, the other day, which is uh, it's not on YouTube yet, but it will be. It's scheduled to come out next week, I believe, is the when that one's going to hit the airs. But, uh, you know, playlists can be pretty powerful. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today and maybe a few other things as well. So with that, are you ready, Steve? I am ready, Ray. All right. Then for the dozens in attendance, let's get this thing going. Here we go. Are you ready? One, five, four, three, two. On today's episode of Video Marketing Madness, we're going to talk about the power of YouTube playlists. And that should be pretty darn exciting. And of course, today's episode is made possible by our good friends over at Movo. Movo creates a variety of great tools that you can use to shoot professional video, even if you're just using your smartphone. So whether you're using a DSLR, a camcorder, or your smartphone, you can get great things like lavalier microphones, shotgun microphones, lights, stands, and everything in between, all at Movo. And you can check it out by heading on over to raisebonuses.com slash Movo, or you can check out some of the specials we have by going to pocketvideopro.com. And with that, let's hit the song so we can get this show on the road. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at, even if he's a little fat. He's filled with video expertise, he has so much knowledge that you need. YouTube Ninja Tricks can make your marketing so sick. He 
He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. And it's the radio show about video, video marketing madness with Ray the Video Guy. And I'm Steve Sleeper. And I need some help over at our Facebook page. You know, I've done everything <laughs> that they say to do. You know, like... Don't uh, don't use URL shorteners. You know, do a nice explanation. Do this, do that. Interact with people. And I don't know. Facebook just must think we're uh, chopped liver. So if uh, More like chopped spam, maybe chopped spam or something. I don't know. So if you head on over there, if you already like the page, just like some posts. And if you haven't liked the page, like it and like some posts. That's right. We could use all the help we can, and of course, we, we can use help. that help on. Everywhere else, like iTunes as well. iTunes. Or or Apple, Apple Podcasts, Podcasts no. I guess, is the proper terminology these days. And SoundCloud and Stitcher and wherever else we are, I don't know. Stitcher and uh, We're all over Google the place. Podcasts. Tune in. We're on the tune, tune in. Now. Tune in radio, yes. Got to check yeah. all those places out to check out the madness of video with video YouTube. marketing madness. Now, Steve, I've got something to, uh, to talk about in the news. We need to have a little thing there. In oh. the news. In the news. <laughs> That's the theme from Bonanza, sorry. (laughs) Okay, so in the news, uh, recently one of the members of the YouTube, uh, I don't even know what what, what they would call it, but it's the promotions, you know, the ones that promote the actual videos. So getting them show up in review, in view, uh, show up in searches, as well as promoting them on the front page and and in the, the, uh, the related videos categories and all that. He spoke about the most important things for a video to get it put into some of those locations. And do you know what the number one thing... Well, actually, he said kind of put two of them together. is two of The two things that take up almost the entire uh, requirements in order to get promoted. Do you know what those two things are? Playlists? Nope. nope. Uh, views? Views? Nope. Nothing to do with views. Title tags and descriptions? You are one third of one half there. <laughs> Thumbnails? <laughs> Thumbnails and title. The title. number one thing they look I did, at, I, did and say I just title. can't say number one because it's two things, but the biggest thing they look at, look at for the entire uh, entirety of deciding what to promote, they said, was the thumbnail and the title. And mm. that's the biggest thing that they look at. And most videos mm. don't have a decent thumbnail. And no. so that can really be holding you back. So it's uh, very important that you have a very good thumbnail. Yes, Steve. What was that thumbnail builder you were promoting? Well, it's funny that you ask that, Steve. Uh, actually, the, the thumbnail builder that we use is called Thumbnail Blaster. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, what a great little program. And this, this wasn't meant to be a plug. I just brought this up because... These guys happened to be talking about this the other day, but uh, yeah, Thumbnail Blaster is this the software that I use with my clients, with my videos, and what it does is you go into it, you you put in all of your channels, so you'll have you'll you'll literally connect all of your channels into the program, and then when you go to make a thumbnail, you choose the channel that you're going to do. So Ray the Video Guy channel or whatever channel it is. You choose that channel, it's going to list all of your videos, and it's going to show you which ones you've already put a thumbnail on and which ones you haven't. And you can choose one of those videos, then you can choose a template, and if you've already made one for your channel, you might already have a saved template. So for instance, in my uh, the dentist ones that I do a lot of the thumbnails for, I've already got a thumbnail template for him. It's got his picture, it's got the text in the background, and then I go into Thumbnail Blaster, I change the text. First, I chose the template to begin with, and then I modified the template, and I saved it, so now I have a custom template. I go in, I change the title, it's still got his picture there, it's got the big letters, and then I hit publish, and it automatically puts it onto that video, so you don't have to go back to YouTube and add it to YouTube, it does it automatically, and you can just sit there and go back and forth and do all of your videos and just boom, 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 without ever even going back to YouTube, so it's a very convenient tool. Uh, if you want to check that out, raythevideoguy.com slash thumbnail blaster, all one word, and you can check that out. Uh, very, very popular tool. In fact, we still sell a bunch of those every day, um, even though the, the special ended a couple of weeks ago. We still get people every single day going for that particular product because it is that powerful and that good. So highly recommended that you do that. Uh, thumbnails and titles, the two most important things. Who would have thought? 
Mm. You know, thumbnails, people always say, oh, yeah, they're great because they're pretty and they get people's attention and they get people to click. But literally, they actually get attention from YouTube itself. So definitely something worth checking out and dealing with is making those nice thumbnails and, of course, making sure that you've got a really good description, uh, excuse me, title that tells people exactly what the video is about. So there you go. Just a little tip. You know, Bob Wells uses no Thumbnail Blaster. Bob Wells, that's good to know. The king of RV living. He was yes, on yes, CBS he Sunday morning. They showed his YouTube channel. You could see all those thumbnails. He bought yeah, it from did you. He, did he really? That's good to know. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm sure he did. I love him. That's great. I haven't, I haven't talked to him in a little while. He used to call me every once in a while, but uh, I haven't talked to him in a little bit. But Yeah, he's a good guy. Sure Very is. Nice man. Sure is. What, uh, what he does is uh, he lives in a van down by the – not down by the river – uh, he's tricked out this van where he can sleep in it, and uh, he is the king of RV, cheap RV living. And he lives on uh, Bureau of Land Management, moves every two weeks, uh, sees the country. Yep. Uh, he goes from Alaska to Arizona, depending on all in the western U.S., depending on what time of the year it is. And yep. he makes a ton of money off the ad share revenue from YouTube. He's got well, That's good to know. I'm downloads. glad to hear that. Yeah. Yep. Good Very guy, good. and uh, glad to hear that he's using Thumbnail Blaster to make his videos even better. So but one more stuff. thing, he got Ooh. his start with Ray consulting him. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did, and that's awesome. Forty million views. <laughs> At, that yeah. is uh, that is much more views than I get on my channel, which uh, you know is not nearly as fun. Which I guess is part of the reason why. Yeah. But yeah. what that's, are you going to do? You know. Uh, the, the the van camping and the camper stuff conversions, it's a big thing with millennials right now. Yeah, so. and it's a lot more interesting than, you know, how to make a playlist. Uh, yeah. I would think so. How to build a barbecue. And that's what we call a segue, folks, because we're going to segue into playlists and why they are so powerful for your channel. Now, uh, if you don't know what a playlist is, essentially inside of YouTube, you can take a bunch of your videos and you can also mix in other people's videos, by the way, or you can even make a playlist of all videos from other people. You put them together into a, literally a list of videos and that list can act like its own URL and its own video, but it'll play one video, the next video, the next video, the next video. And the great thing about this is that it helps your channel out in a number of ways. And the first is, if you don't know what, uh, what they call session time, session time is one of the metrics that YouTube uses to determine how powerful your video or your channel is. So for instance, if you have a video that's two minutes long and somebody watches that video and then they leave and they go to Facebook, uh, that you got a two minutes of session time because they watched your two minute video. However, if they watch your two minute video and then you have at the, in the end screen a link to another video and they click on that video and they watch another two minutes, well now your first video has a four minute session time because you drove the first two minutes and you drove that second video for two minutes. Now, if they watch your video for two minutes and then they go watch an episode of Cobra Kai, and I don't know if Cobra Kai would count, but I wanted to mention it because it's my new favorite show, but if they watch something long like that that's a half hour long, well, then your video gets credit for that half hour because you started them in that session. So your two-minute video gives you two minutes. That 30-minute video now gives you 32 minutes of session time, which will help you to raise your video because at the end of the day, YouTube's job is to keep people on YouTube so they see ads. And if you've got a video that keeps people on there for 32 minutes, even if it's not your video for 30 of those minutes, you get credit for that because you kept someone there to see those advertisements. And so you get rewarded by having better, uh, better rankings and, and you know, just showing up better in search. And with a playlist, that plays right into the hands, pardon the pun, of the idea of session time. So if you've got five two-minute videos in your playlist, well, then you're going to have 10 minutes of session time. And those videos linking to each other, if they're on the same channel, is going to help your channel overall because you're going to get views for all those videos and it's going to give you session time for those videos and you know all that other fun stuff. Uh, plus, you've got more opportunities to reach an audience because you're teaching them about multiple things. So maybe you've got a series of videos. Maybe it's a, let's say that you were um, teaching how to use Photoshop and you teach a, a two minute lesson on Photoshop and at the end you say, by the way, I have a course on Photoshop, it costs $20 and here it is. Well, maybe they don't buy it, but because they're in that playlist, they will see the next one, they see the next one, they see the next one. And by the time they've seen four or five videos, they say, you know what, this guy knows what he's talking about. 
I will click that link. I will buy his $20 product. And so now you made a sale simply because you had a playlist going. But there's even more excitement about playlists than just that. Playlists actually can have their own search functionality as well. Just like a YouTube video, a playlist has a URL that can be found in search, that can be clicked on, that can be put into pages, so you can embed a playlist. And so anytime that you do these things, you're going to get more traffic out of those and more session time out of those. But because that can be found in search, you also have the opportunity to optimize the playlist as well, just like you would a video. So inside of YouTube, when you create a playlist, there's an edit button. It'll allow you to add videos to that playlist, but it will also allow you to put in a full description into that playlist as well. So if you've got a keyword optimized description, you can put that in there. You can put URLs in there just like you would with a regular video. So now you've got uh, a whole bunch more information that people can find in search. So because that playlist has a title and it has a description just like your videos do. And that means it can be found in search and can provide you with all of that SEO value. If you're working as a with a local business or you are a local business, you have an opportunity to put in your name, address and phone number for another citation on your so that your GMBs go up. So there's a lot of different opportunities that can be had just by putting a playlist together and that includes not only the session time but the ability to put a description a title and really get it keyword loaded put in those the name address and phone number put in your links all that kind of fun stuff and that's going to help to get you even more traffic and get found in search the other thing i like about uh, embeddable playlists is i have a number of websites where people do come back uh to see what's new uh, and uh, that automatically updates. When I add something to the playlist, yep. it automatically updates on the website. So if I'm re releasing, let's say, a weekly how to build a barbecue video on my how to build a barbecue website, well, people are going to come there weekly to see, you know, what kind of briquettes I'm using. And uh, all I have to do is cut that video, put it in the playlist, uh, you know, put it where I want it, Yep. And it automatically updates on the website, which is kind of neat. And that's one thing you got to remember. You got to put the new one up at the top in order for that to work properly mm -hmm. inside the list. Mm -hmm. And then that way it'll start with the newest and work its way back just like with a, uh, a podcast. And so it's very easy to do that. When you get into that edit section, you can just move things around, move it to the top. You can use uh, the thumbnail of a certain video as the thumbnail for the entire thing. So there you get that thumbnail issue again there. So, you know, for instance, even if uh, even if your newest video is the first in there, you could choose a thumbnail from one of the other ones as the thumbnail for the entire playlist. And that's going to give you, you know, hopefully the, the best image when things are not playing um, so that people can see exactly what it is. So it's a lot mm -hmm. of great options with that. But it gets even better. Yeah. With playlists, you have another opportunity, and that's with your YouTube channel. Now your YouTube channel, we'll talk about that probably in a, in a session you know, next week or the week after, we'll put one together on, on YouTube channels and the importance of them. But one of the things that a YouTube channel has are what they call sections. And a section is like a, uh, oh, I don't even know how to, a category, I guess. So for instance, in our, um, if you've got a, let's say you're working with a bankruptcy lawyer and you've got a channel for a bankruptcy lawyer channel. You could have one section that's chapter 13 bankruptcy videos and chapter nine, uh, chapter seven bankruptcy videos, chapter 11 bankruptcy videos, and then maybe uh, frequently asked questions videos. And each of those would have its own little section that can be built based off of playlists. So you make a playlist about chapter seven bankruptcy, you go into your channel, you create a, a section and you choose single playlist and then choose that chapter seven playlist and now you've got all the videos from that playlist in one section, making it nice and easy to organize your channel and getting people to be able to really see exactly what's going on there, watch the things that they actually need without having to just guess based upon 100 videos that are on your channel. Or at worst, in many cases, the channel doesn't have anything on it at all, and uh, they're just staring at nothing pretty much when they get there. Uh, again, I, I've got a, uh, a new video coming out on YouTube about channels that will show some of that and will even showcase one of my uh, really old channels that doesn't have anything. And I use that as the example of a terrible channel. So, uh, you know, you'll get to see, <coughs> excuse me, you'll get to see that even I can make terrible channels and, and never finish them. So 
You know, there's a, I'm kind of into model trains, uh, backyard railroading, basement railroading, and that type of thing. And there's one guy out there on his YouTube channel. He makes videos about everything to do with the hobby. And he's got a section about all kinds of different steam engines, you know, yeah. HO, 132nd, uh, diesel locomotives from the 40s and 50s, you know, uh, new diesel locomotives. Uh, uh, cars, uh, freight cars from the 20s, 30s, 40s. They're different sections. California Zephyr, Nebraska Zephyr. And they're all organized into sections. So you go to his uh, landing page or homepage for his channel. It's very interesting. And, and you're able to get what you want. You know, you're able to yep. focus in on what you're specifically interested in. And with that hobby, there's so many different things to be interested in. So he's taking advantage of that, which is cool. Yep, and that's exactly what playlists allow you to do. They allow you to organize things in a way that your audience can find it very easily. In fact, it's you know more organized than than things like television and and you know where everything is just kind of a mess and you're watching an episode of Friends followed by an episode of Law and Order followed by a Home and Garden you know TV show or whatever. This allows you to really organize things down. So when people come to your channel, you know, in, in the example of our bankruptcy channel. Just because you're dealing with bankruptcy doesn't mean you want to watch Chapter 13 videos if you're going through a Chapter 7. So the fact that you can see those Chapter 7 videos all right there makes it nice and easy. And of course, again, playlists can include other people's videos. They don't have to just be your videos. So for instance, let's say, and I've done this in the past, where I've created a channel that trains people on how to use a, per a particular piece of software. Well, I'm not going to have 200 videos on that software. However, there might be a bunch of other people that have created really good tutorials for specific things that I haven't at that point in time. And so I can grab one of their videos and put them into my playlist or my section so that people can learn from somebody else while being on my channel. And that can be a, a very useful tool as well. It also allows you to bring some, some heavy hitters into your list. So for instance, uh, if you want to get known for you know, some particular type of thing that you've made a video for, but you're not well known, you could take a video that is by somebody who is well known, put it into your playlist with you, and then that way you get the credibility of somebody else who's very popular talking about it, and then you talking about it, and hopefully people will then you know, kind of put the two of you together as equals and start watching your stuff, and that can be a big help to get you kick-started as well. So a lot of different options with playlists that can, that can make a big difference when it comes to your video marketing. So there you go. And for, and for hobbyist channels, that is so great because... Yep. You know, there's a lot of granularity, I, you know, to a lot of hobbies. I talked about model trains. I mean, my wife's into knitting and crocheting, and you can't believe how many <laughs> different kinds of knots there are and different uh -huh. kinds of yarns. And the, the channels that she likes the best are the ones that have their playlist organized accordingly and in sections. And so if she's lear learning how to build a double over knot, I don't know what the names are, but a double O, she can just go there and see the section. And then there'll be 10 videos on how to do a double over knot. They'll, be, they'll start <laughs> with the most basic thing and then move on to advance. And you're probably going to have this problem. There's a video on that. So uh, it, it, it's, it's a great way for hobbyist channels to uh, make it easy for people to find what they want to find. And get more watch time, more sessions. Absolutely. Time. You know, and my, my little hobbyist channels that I like to watch are, are uh, you know, retro technology. So old computers and, and calculators and video games and things like that and how they built them and put them together. And it's neat to go to some of these channels and be able to look at, you know, oh, here's the Commodore 64 line of, of videos and here's the Amiga line of videos and here's the, the Atari ST line of videos and you can kind of go through and look at the ones that you want and you know that you're going to be staying in that particular set of videos the entire time so that you can go through an entire series. Um, playlists are great for that, by the way. If you've got a part one, part two, part three, part four of something, you got to make a playlist out of that. And by the way, you know, you don't have to just make a playlist for one of the sections on your channel. You can make as many playlists as you want. You can make a playlist with just one video so that you have double the opportunity for people seeing that video because you're going to optimize your video. You're going to optimize your playlist. Even if it only has one video, you've now got twice as much opportunity for people to see that particular video. 
but you can go through and you can put the same video in five different playlists. So a lot of opportunity yep. there. Yep, you know, that works. Yeah, going back that's... to our, our, our uh, bankruptcy, you know, maybe you've got a video in your Chapter 7 section that is about going to court. Well, that's the same thing that's going to court for Chapter 13, so you put it in both playlists. And so now you've got that particular video in two different playlists, and that would make sense. And you can do that as many times as you want. You know, you might only have five sections on your, your homepage, but you could have dozens of, of playlists. In fact, my Ray the Video Guy channel has literally probably 25 different playlists on there of all sorts of different things. Uh, some of them are kind of repetitive, but, you know, they just make sense together. Is there a limit of the number of sections you can have on a YouTube there, channel? There is, and I can't remember how many it is, if it's like seven or eight or something like that. There is okay. a, there is a okay. number, but I can't remember off the top yeah. of my head what it is. Uh, in fact, yeah. I thought I hit it the other day, but it let me add another one. So oh, I'm like, oh, I guess okay. not. So I, okay. I don't know. I know, yeah. I know there is a I, limit. I've reached it many times, but I don't recall how many. I, I think they've increased it because I've kind of run into the same thing, too, where I added a section and uh, you know, I've got one. A DUI attorney, and God, you wouldn't believe the number of sections that are on there. You wouldn't think there would be for DUI, but but there is. Anyhow, I went to add another section the other day, thinking I was going to get turned down, and I was able to add it. So I think they've increased yeah, that. I, I wish I could remember. In fact, I was wondering that the other day when I did that, I should have kept adding until I until I saw the number. I, I used to know because I kn I knew there's a limit, but I'm not yeah. sure what it is anymore. It's it's not a ton. It's you know it's probably ten or less at this mm -hmm. point. But maybe maybe they've increased it. I don't know. I don't know. Be good to test out. Maybe we'll mm -hmm. get an answer for it when we do the channel section. Mm -hmm. It'll be next time. Next time, Indeed. folks. Next yeah. time. Indeed. So, all right. Well, that's our that's our little series on playlists. And uh, if you've got any questions, comments, mail bombs, be sure to send them to us and uh, let us know what you think. You can always leave a comment in the Facebook Live. You can always comment to us by sending us a private message or visiting our Facebook page or emailing me or knocking on my door and hitting me with a baseball bat. Any of those things are valid, and you can do it anytime. Steve, yes? I found the best way to reach you, um, and although the baseball bat thing sounds inviting, but I found that... The best way to reach you is PM you on your Facebook page. Oh, definitely. No, yeah, that's, you know, that's I mean, probably that, the fastest. That, that seems to, I mean, you're pretty good about video marketing madness, too, uh, about that page, because I, I, I see you answering stuff there. But, boy, if I need to get a hold of you, I've tried like five, six, seven different ways. It's Ray the Video Guy <laughs> 1. <laughs> And that's my that's my personal one. Yeah, you can go to you can go to Ray the Video Guy, which is the actual Facebook page, or you can go to Ray the Video Guy One, which is my personal Facebook. But either one, I answer questions. So feel free to friend me on Facebook and send me messages, and that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. I wanna... send Ray a lot of gi goofy gifts. That's right. Yes, he does. In fact, about five today already. So five already. Yes. Indeed. Thank you. Indeed. So, well, there you go. That's another episode down the drain. And yes. uh, we appreciate you guys joining us for this episode. Steve, I appreciate you as well. And until next time, uh, remember that everything we talk about works, but only if you do. That's right. You got to work. You got to put that work in. Now, if you think it's a blast, it helps. Yes, indeed. Yep. And, of course, today's episode made possible by our good friends at Movo Photo. And these guys make a lot of great things. In fact, uh, my, my daughter just had a birthday the other day. And one of the things that she's going to be doing for school next year is she's going to be traveling around parts of the country and doing videos and creating a YouTube channel for this. So she's going to, you know, the Grand Canyon and, and you know, who knows what else and take videos and, and do report, video reports and have a YouTube channel. And so I got her some Movo stuff for her birthday. I got her the uh, the WRX, WR, w, well, whatever it is, the WXR10, whatever it is, whatever it's called. It's a little shotgun microphone. And uh, I got that for her. I also got her the uh, WMic10 wireless microphone and a stand for her phone and a light. So she got all of those things for That's her a birthday. That's a great idea that she's doing that, though. Yeah, you know, it should be a lot of fun. She'll, she'll get some some views. 
Sure. Absolutely. No, she's so. she's gonna once she gets to like uh, ten thousand views, she can set it up for ad share revenue. Yes, she can. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. But only possible because we got her that great Movo stuff. Movo. And of course, you can check it out by heading on over to PocketVideoPro.com, and you can see the LV1 lavalier microphone. Uh, you can also check out on the bottom of that page. We've got a few other items as well, including some video packs. Now, one of the video packs that's really good is it comes with this light that's actually sitting on top of my monitor here and lighting my face. Uh, it also comes with the a wireless uh, W mic 10. It also comes with the tripod mount and all of that in one little package along with a remote so you can actually start and stop your phone from uh, anywhere. That's specifically, that particular pack is, is made for a phone, but you can use it on a DSLR or a camcorder as well, but it's made for the phone. And of course, you can get that by heading on over to pocketvideopro.com. Check the bottom of the page to see that video pack. You can also check out some of the other great products that they have there as well. So with that, for Steve, say bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. I'm Ray, the video guy. And until next time, have a great week. And we'll see you when we talk about YouTube channels. It should be exciting. Ooh. All right, let's hit that funky, funky music. Here we go. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. He has so much knowledge that you need. YouTube Ninja Tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. And we're clear. All righty. Good information. Ooh. That was great information. I know there's not a... It doesn't make for a real long show, but it was a ha almost a half hour show. I yeah, think, yeah. Or, you know, that was so. still pretty good. Yeah, well, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good info. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Victor so David says hello. Who's that? Victor David. Victor David. He's a oh. longtime customer. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's neat. Yeah. Uh, what else? Still hitting it hard with the Hulu thing and the attorneys? Trying to, that. yeah. Trying to get them yeah. to come on board. They keep saying they want to. Yeah, I know. I but know. we're going to be going up to Rhode Island in a couple of weeks and Massachusetts to hit a couple of those guys there that I think are going to do it. So that should be fun. When I called on banks, Massachusetts was my best state hmm. as far as landing banks. I don't know what it was. Can't really tell you, but I love Massachusetts. Good. And then I could go into Boston and get lost downtown. Yes, you could very easily. I uh, I tried driving one time, and after that, I took a cab. Uber is perfect in Boston, I would think. You know, so. Yeah, I guess I'll find out soon enough. I haven't been to Boston in a long time. Well, of course, the area around it's pretty easy to get to. Yeah, but uh, it's just. In downtown Boston. Nobody knows how to. You, you could talk to somebody who's lived there all their life and they're my age and they can't give you directions in downtown Boston. It's just crazy. Yikes. All right. Mm -mm. Okay, my friend. Mm -mm. All right. Well, have a wonderful rest of the week and uh, I guess we'll see you next week. Okay. Have a good one. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, hey, we're still live.